speaking to your microphone when you mentioned wetness. <laughs> no, we uh, had a kind of a weird sound check this afternoon, so we have to adjust a few technical things. And there's some. Uh, if we can do something about the monitors down here, uh, just so as we just have them loud enough so as we blow it, we know it. You know. <laughs>
don't want to do something John thinks he's being left out of. He'd rather phone his part in anyway.
She keeps my feet on the ground I think it's our third year at the Stewart Theater here. Always about this time of year, too. Last year it was snow, but that didn't matter. This year it's us, but that doesn't matter. <laughs> no, you're always a great audience. It's great to come down here. See, uh, I had something pertinent to say. Coming 45 second attention span, I forgot it. <laughs> No, I just want to say that uh, we just discovered the other day that uh, we have a, a Grammy nomination for our um, record 15th anniversary. <laughs> we sure like that. That and a piece of paper to match it starts a little fire. <laughs> like I say, it's on the Sugar Hill label and the... Uh, Head man from Sugar Hill waddled in tonight. <laughs> He's here. He owns the place. The young lady Penny Parsons that does all the work is here too. He says, I own all this. You do it. <laughs> anyway, we, we all straight, we have a song. Or are we gonna take the longest intermission you ever saw? <laughs> do I know it? Satan's choir. 
their song in Satan's choir. Just 
And the guy that uh, is being one of the funny guys tonight, he's picking on me rather heavily. He enjoys that though, every day of the week. Oh gosh, I, I listened to this guy years and years ago. <laughs> I forgot one year, but uh, this guy has really done so much for bluegrass music. <laughs> You can only figure out what it is. <laughs> <laughs> this guy really is, he has gained so much popularity in bluegrass music. <laughs> sort of uh, look back on what T. Michael said earlier. That's why he gets all of his fan mail addressed to him as the big man with the little instrument. <laughs> Also a fashion designer. <laughs> and if you smoked as many cigarettes as this guy does, you'd have to have that many pockets on your shirt too. <laughs> He's one of the finest mandolin players in the world, tenor singer in the world, and I mean that, from the heart. One of the finest entertainers, bluegrass music, none other than Mr. John Duffy.
to the fact that Ben had garlic for dinner, we're going to have T. Michael sing on this one. <laughs> had to pay for this. Jim and Tammy's favorites. <laughs> <laughs> Heard Johnny Carson about a week ago and he said he knows, well he's talking about their new show and he says he knows they moved out of the neighborhood in which he lives, which is Malibu, because there's no more makeup slick on the ocean. <laughs>
You feel good, your bass sounds nice and round. There's always some fool who stands up and says, Turn the bass down. Well, sit down, you fool. It's not too much bass that you hear. It's just the acoustics of the room or that half smoked joint behind your girlfriend's ear. Well, girls, let me tell you something, though you like the lead singer's face. Do yourself a favor and pick the man who picks bass. <laughs> He's got impeccable taste. And he's got a natural sense of rhythm, so pick the man who picks bass. Sleeps in the cat. 
canyons just waiting for summer's pastures to change. With ten miles behind me and ten thousand more to go. There's some that they sing when they take to the highway. There's some that they sing when they take to the sea. A song